Jesu ki Gilson Pereira Errol Morris Richard Izu JC Family Mat Helen Menaces family Sunda and J. X. Francis by Father Francis Thanksgiving by Roy Thomas Thanksgiving on the birthday of Goroy de Zusa Thanksgiving by Jennifer Thomas Thanksgiving for all the blessings by Sandosh and Paul's family Thanksgiving for the special intentions of Anthony Salu and Sister Jesse on their birthday. Thanksgiving for all the blessings received by Santa by Evelina DiMello, Gaspar Maggie D'Souza by Gilroy D'Souza, Baptista and Mary D'Souza by Gilroy D'Souza, Lucy and Joseph Sarah by Gilroy D'Souza, Norman France, Norman Terence, Credo by Gilroy D'Souza, Prakash Sunwain by Linda Sunwain, Albert Virgin Gonzalez by Renita George, Maggie Netto by Linda Sunwain, Sagai Mary, Aroge Mary, and Mariama by Father James David. For the repose of the soul of Father Nibin Sebastian by HGN Ambabai. For the repose of the soul of Edmund and Loretta D'Souza by Judith and Valencia. Bernice Sarao, Joseph and Anna Gonsalves. Dominic and Lily Sarao, Dennis D'Souza, Andron Lone, Dick Gomes and family, Placid Lawrence D'Souza, Mary Rock D'Souza, Jacindo, Rosy Nunes, Chris Dale, Sunny Lords, Oli, Corinne, Corina, Benes John, by Napoleon and Virginia. For the good health and peace in the family by Napoleon. For the good job for Daniel Delicia Nonas to get a blessing of a child for Charles and Lawrence to get the blessing of a child for Anthony and Jennifer. For the special intentions or push pass special intentions of Daniel Rodriguez by Edward Rodriguez special intentions of Mikhail Gomes for Jennifer Thomas Special intentions to sell the property of Mr. Johnson and Mrs. Sini. Special intentions to build a house by Mrs. Mariella. And especially we pray for all the devotees who wish to Indian, to wish to replace their intentions at the feet of St. Jude. Today we have Father David Turkey, an young priest who was ordained in last August 2021. He is from St. Anne's Cathedral, Jansi, 
ordained for the diocese of Gwalior. As he began his priestly journey, just two months old, let's all pray earnestly so that he may be touched and blessed by the Lord to be an exemplary priest, a missionary priest for the Diocese of Gwalior. We are proud to have him in our midst because he is from our own diocese, from the parish, cathedral parish, from the city of Jansi. On behalf of all the devotees present here, I extend a very warm, cordial welcome, Father David Turkey. We assure you of our prayers so that you may be blessed by the powerful intercession of St. Jude to fulfill and be satisfied with your priestly ministry. I also welcome all the fathers who are going to celebrate and pray for us during this Holy Mass. May I request our choir to begin the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Your Lordship. Dear fathers, sisters, and my dear loving devotees of St. Jude, very good morning to one and all. Today's first reading, which is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, it speaks about the kingdom of God. How can we establish the kingdom of God within us, around us, and as a whole? 
the letter is taken from the St. Paul and very clearly he speaks how we should be before Jesus was condemned and he crucified on the cross very clearly beautifully speaks how we should be and therefore today's gospel is taken from the look where Jesus beautifully puts before us the two different parables the parable of seed and parable of leaven yes my dear friends as we have come this altar as we have preached to this church to pray to very especially to St. Jude whose novenas we are having these days let us intercede let us urge ask to bless each one of us we know that past two years we have been affected very badly and we could not have the St. Jude ceremony but this year God is so merciful he is so lovable that he has given the beautiful time and moment to come around to celebrate this feast therefore we are sinful we are fragile being time and again we do commit sins but the loving father the loving Jesus never abandons us rather he accepts he stretches his hands and calls each one of us yes my dear children come to the altar of the Lord because altar is a sacrificial sign and symbol of Jesus Christ therefore let us pause for a while let us introspect let us examine ourselves where do we stand because we are human being because we live in the attractive world because the things which attracts us and we fall into therefore as we have come to this church and this shrine let us pause for a while so that we may recall so that we may contemplate our sins which we have committed therefore come my dear friends to partake in this holy eucharist let us feel sorry to god I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, your Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Father, you revealed yourself to us through the preaching of your apostle Saint Thaddeus. By his prayers, give your church continued growth and increase the number of those who believe in you. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 18 to 25. Brethren, I consider that sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to corruption and obtain freedom of the glory of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now. And not only creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for the adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope, for who hopes for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to the Lord.
my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you may lead, I will follow. I have made the choice to listen to your voice. Wherever you may lead, I will go. Shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you may lead, I will follow. I, I have made the choice to listen for your voice. Wherever you may lead, I will go. Be it in a quiet pasture or a giant gentle stream, the shepherd of my soul will be my guide. Should I face a mighty mountain or a valley dark and deep, the shepherd of my soul is by my side. Shepherd of my soul, I gave you full control. Wherever you may lead, I will follow. I have made the choice to listen for your voice. Wherever you may lead, I will go. Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? And to what shall I compare it? It is like a grain of mustard seed that a man took and sowed in his garden. And it grew and became a tree, and the birds of the air made nests in its branches. And again he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like leaven that a woman took and hid in three measures of flour, until it was all leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your Lordship, Dear fathers, sisters, and my dear loving devotees of St. Jude, today's readings invites each one of us to reflect there is one particular theme, that is the kingdom of God. How can we establish the kingdom of God? During the introduction, I mentioned few things, that is, by doing day-to-day -day life, we can establish the kingdom of God. In today's first reading, the St. Paul clearly mentions how can we and how should we. 
because in the first reading he speaks he brought out the thing which we should do because at the time of saint paul the faithful the believers of god were not living the life which they supposed to live rather they were living a life full of sinful that is why god the father the yahweh appoints and anoints the prophets thereafter so many leaders to take care of the flock to take care of the shepherd rightly in today's gospel also jesus beautifully puts two different parables first is a mustard seed we know the mustard seed is very tiny but when it is put in the soil later on it grows and then it becomes a tree and later on that same tree gives a fruit fruit in abundance and not only fruits rather so many birds birds of the air come and they make a house same way god also has given each one of us the heart which also is spoken by saint paul our heart is like a temple how we take care of our temple if it is sinful my dear friends then jesus will never enter we know our beloved saint jude thaddeus he is a good preacher he is a good missionary though he was very simple and humble but through his words through his preaching he brought many people to the lord same way as we have come around this altar to this shrine what is our duty what is our responsibility are we also like sadducees and pharisees from the mouth from the tongue we speak but we are not intended to follow the word of god we are failed to understand the word of god same like sadducees and pharisees they fast and they go around the areas reason and they proclaim that they are fasting are we also like the same sadducees and pharisees therefore in today's readings both first reading and then gospel reading very clearly invites and put a message message of the kingdom of god because we know that a mustard seed when it is put it is put in a small measure but when it is grown it bears much fruit same way the lady who had a little loaves who had leaven but then when she mixes with flour it multiplies transform takes place transform so to say we should have a willingness we should have a readiness we should have a tenderness we should have the heart of forgiveness are we ready to do all these things are we really meant are we really a good catholic because we have been hearing many of our saints many of the political leaders they speak they spoke about the word of god but they never liked us because we too like sadducees and pharisees we say that i am a catholic i am a priest i am a nun but then we are fail to do we are fail to practice the word of god as we have come to this shrine the beloved saint saint jude thaddeus in his lifetime if we go back we can see the lifestyle of saint jude and we know the the patron of hope the patron of uh, disgrace cases 
We know last two years we have been facing a pandemic. Many of us have lost the job. We have many intentions to put before the St. Jude. And we have come with those intentions that our beloved Saint, St. Jude Tadeus, would help us. Therefore, my dear friends, let us ask the blessings, graces from God, from Mother Mary and all the saints. May all of them intercede for us as we are nearing approaching to celebrate the feast day of St. Jude. Still there is time. Still there are moments to repent, to ask pardon. There was a man who was very rich, but he was not believing in religion. One fine day, he was on the way to his business work. As he was going for his business, he meets a man who was very poor, who was very humble and simple in his heart. As they were sitting together, definitely when we sit while traveling, we say hello, then thereafter our conversation starts. Same way, that day also with that rich man, it happened so. While he was having conversation with that poor man, he asks, what do you do? That poor man says, sir, I do little by little works. With that, I earn some wages. And with that, I support my family. As they were going to their destiny, they were having conversation, knowing each other more and more. As they were talking, there was one small point brought by that poor man. He says, Sir, if I am here today, it is because of God. Then he starts narrating the story of himself. He says, I was a beggar. I had no single pie to look after myself. But then one fine day, a man in the name of God came to me and told me, hello, my dear gentleman, why are you sitting here? But that poor man says, Sir, I have no job. I am very poor. I am physically weak. Mentally, I am depressed. What can I do? How can I do? But that rich man tells to that poor man, You can do anything and everything if you have will. If you have faith, if you have trust on the God, and same way, this rich man also starts thinking because that rich man was also as a poor like him. And there the conversation goes on and they come to a conclusion, they draw a conclusion that is both were a poor once upon a time. But then how God intervenes in each one of us. We also know, if we look back our status, we may not be like any rich man, like Bill Gates and so on. But by doing the will of God, by accepting his invitation, by following the commandments, we can also become a rich, not only rich as a financially, but rich in spirituality. Because today is the second parable, the poor lady who had only three bowls of leaven. But when she mixes with flour, it multiplies, it transforms, takes place. 
if we are not ready to transform ourselves i don't think so we may also become a rich rich in spirit rich in financially rich in heart and mind and soul therefore my dear friends as we are participating in this holy eucharist as we have come near to saint jude tadeus let us intercede let us ask the same grace same blessings so that our beloved saint also bless each one of us as those poor man were blessed therefore come my dear brother and to become an instrument for god not for oneself but for each one of us for others because by the baptism we are urged we are asked to spread to proclaim the word of god not only religious not only those who are believing but it is a duty of each one of us therefore as we partake in this holy eucharist let us humbly simply come to this altar to saint jude so that we may be blessed by them we may be receive giving the blessings in abundance for each one of us and for all of us may our loving jesus may our beloved saint saint jude thaddeus pray for each one of us kindly raising god our loving father we thank you and praise you for this beautiful day as you have invited each one of us to be a partaker of this holy eucharist we have many intentions we have many petitions we have many prayers to put before you we know lord you hear our prayer you give your ear to our intentions therefore we would like to pray in a special way to saint jude thaddeus who is our patron by saying lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer we pray for pope francis bishop peter and all clergy that they may reflect god's love and humble service to all entrusted to their care that they may be good servants of god's people may they be strengthened by the holy spirit in their preaching the good news of salvation for this let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for the leaders of the world that they would work together to promote peace and justice that they may see themselves as servant leaders and work for the common good and may they be blessed with the wisdom and understanding in serving the needs of the people for this let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer we pray for our youth and especially those who have lost their jobs through the intercession of saint jude may they find good jobs and may the holy spirit guide and protect them through this most challenging time for this let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayers we pray for you to bless all the devotees of saint jude that they may see saint jude as a source of comfort 
and may they grow in patience and endurance as they conquer their challenges. May they look for you in all people and be inspired to treat each other with respect, share generously, and reaching out to help those who are in need. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for the sick and all who are suffering from any illness may find relief from their meaning in their struggles and body, mind, and spirit the healing power of Christ comfort and hope in his constant presence. For this, let us pray. Bishop Peter Paramali, all the diocesan priests, all the religious, especially, I bring before the loving devotees of St. Jude, God our loving father and mother, Kindly give your to our prayers. Kindly listen to our intercessions. We have come around you to surrender ourselves. Lord, hear our prayer so that we may become a stranger for you. Rather, Come closer to you and become your loving child. We make this prayer in your name. Amen.
my brethren and sisters, my sacrifice and yours, be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice. Your hands and praise and glory of His name for our good and good of all His riches. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks most holy through your word, through whom you do things, whom you serve, our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin filling your will and gaining to a holy people, stretched out his hands as his passion to enter the bones of the death. Section. Lead us toward this celebration of the sacrificial mystery through Christ our Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread, thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, said, Take this, all of and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, supper was ended. He gave the chalice, and once giving thanks, he gave it to people, saying, all of you and drink for this is the challenge of the blood. The blood of you and eternal covenant will be poured out for you and me. For the forgiveness of do this in memory. The mystery of faith. 
by your cross and resurrection. You have set us free. For by your and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, celebrate the memorial of his resurrection. We offer you Lord, the bread of life and of salvation, that you have held us to be in your presence, minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one Holy Spirit. Remember the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of the together with Francis of Pope and Peter of and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have deep in the hope of protection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, with the blessed apostles and Jude, all the saints is due throughout the ages. We may merit to be coherent with eternal life and glorify you, the Son, our Lord. command and formed by divine teaching we dare to Lord Jesus, who said to your my peace I give you, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graces her peace and unity, 
in accordance with your will who live and reign for and ever the peace of the lord let us to the the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb, behold Him, the sins of the world, those called to the Lamb.
me his body, his blood, know that he has overcome every trial we will face. None too lost to be saved, none too broken or rushing. By a mercy we come to your table By your grace you are making us faithful Lord, we remember you And remembrance leads us to worship And as we worship Worship leads to communion. We respond to your invitation. We remember you. We remember you. Let us thank the Lord for coming into our heart through this Eucharist. Let us also thank the Lord for the wonderful message in this morning. The humble beginning of the kingdom of God. We have seen or we have read from the scripture how the church began to grow. It began to grow beyond the control any powers of this world because the believers initially though many very few had the trust and confidence in the Lord. The Lord worked through them and the beginning of the church, though in a humble manner, began to grow, grown to the whole world today, grown in our midst and we are experiencing the wonderful blessings and mercies of the Lord in our life. He has brought us here. He has given us this opportunity to see and experience the wonderful works of the Lord. 
Thank you, Lord, for enabling us, giving us this opportunity to experience you and your work, your wonderful work, your amazing work in our midst. We have seen great saints, saints like Mother Teresa of Calcutta, how she began a different religious life from Loreto Convent. By leaving the Loreto Convent, how she came out with just five rupees in her hand. And more than that five rupees, she had the fire of Christ. Like the East, she began to work, work day in and day out. And how the missionaries of charity began and grown the whole world. We have experienced, Lord, your wonderful mercy and compassion, your divine providence through such scenes in the church. Lord, we thank you all this for all the saints who have shown us the way how little or small or poor we may be. If you are with us, we shall grow. Grow beyond our imagination. We shall grow beyond the powers of this world because you are with us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful message of humble beginning and the wonderful growth that we can experience with you. On behalf of all the devotees present here, I thank Father David Turkey for offering this Holy Mass for all of us. We know you are just ordained an young priest has no experience. He lacks experience as we have preached almost reaching 50 years, but he just began. In spite of lack of experience, he has come over, had the courage to come and offer this Holy Mass for all the devotees. He gave us the time and he prayed for all of us. Thank you, dear Father, for your gracious presence, for offering this Eucharist for all of us. I also thank all the fathers and Deacon Lourdes for your gracious presence. You have blessed all of us by your prayers. I also thank our choir today from Premnagar St. John's Parish, Father Joseph Mendonca, and his team, they have prepared uh, the hymns so wonderfully and helped us, to, helped us to pray in a better manner. They will be coming for evening Hindi choir also. Thank you, dear friends. I also thank our crew members behind the camera and all the sisters who helped us to decorate this altar of the Lord beautifully. Immediately after the final prayer, Father, I would ask Father David Turkey to bring the relic of St. Jude from the altar of St. Jude to the main altar. And then after the novena prayers, he will be blessing us with the relic of St. Jude. With that, this morning's liturgy will come to an end. Wish each and every one of you a wonderful, grace-filled day. Thank you and God bless you. Let us pray. Father, in your spirit we pray, may the sacrament we receive today keep us in your loving care as we honor the death of St. Jude Tadeus. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
kindly take the prayer for the synod. We stand before you, O Holy Spirit, as we gather in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we must pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance let us down the world path, nor partially influence our actions. Let us find in you and unity, so that we may generate together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. Bless this sinner 2022, and make us understand the importance of it. May we grow in the spirit of communion with the Church, by your action, participation, may we contribute in the growth of mission of the Church. All this we ask you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who even on earth did with a strong cry and tears offer our prayers and supplications to the Father, receive the offerings of this novena, during which we desire to join our prayers to yours for these intentions. We make this offering through Mary, your mother and our mother, and through St. Jude Thadeus, your beloved cousin, for he is the helper in difficult cases. For their sake, accept our prayer and render it fruitfully. Amen. O glorious apostles, St. Jude Thadeus, patron of the desperate cases, who chose by God to give testimony of the true faith, suffered all kinds of tortures and in the end gave life rather than dying it. Often for us, our faith is strong as yours, as a like you. 
make us ever ready to confess it with joy, so that we may die rather to and home. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy name, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us the Lord, and the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now, and ever shall be, and ever O faithful apostles, St. Jude Tadeus, beloved cousin of our Saviour, by that admirable courage with you sacrificed your life sooner than fail in your fidelity to the true faith and the true God. Obtain for us the grace to be always faithful to God and to the Church in all our duties so as to merit a share of glory in heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy name, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O fervent Apostle Saint Jude Thaddeus, whose only desire was to please God in all things, obtain for us the same desire that inflamed with the same favor we may spend all our life in working out our salvation, so that purified by the fire of tribulation, we may be entitled to an eternal crown of glory in the kingdom of God. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy name, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Pray for us, O glorious Saint Jude. Let us pray together. O God, who through your blessed Apostle St. Jude has brought us into the knowledge of your name, grant that we may celebrate his eternal glory by making progress in virtue, and by preaching his glory we may obtain his sanctity through Christ our Lord. Amen. to our hands, help of the helpless, hope of the hopeless, oh, our dear patron, St. Jude, St. Jude, St. Jude. 